I know some of you will kick off at what I'm about to say, but when it comes to building your first home lab server and you are on a budget, you should go with Intel, despite AMD being better in my opinion. You obviously need to know what you want your server to do. Now you need to know whether you want your home server to be a NAS for massive file backups and obviously backing up devices and so on. Or do you want it to be a media server where you can run your own Netflix so you can have Plex or Jellyfin and then you can stream that to all your devices? Or do you want it to just be for experimentation where you can run VMs, you can run Docker containers, LXC containers, all this type of stuff? Or do you want it to be for networking? So for example, you can run your own router, you can run your own DNS, DHCP, all this sort of stuff. As I said at the beginning, if you are new to all of this, you should go with Intel for one very particular reason. Now, this is a bit of an overkill motherboard and I know the RAM is incorrect. That's because there are bent pins on this and I got it for dirt cheap. But this is an Intel 12600, six core, 12 thread, kind of on the old style traditional cores. And this is an AMD Ryzen 3700X. But the thing you've got to keep in mind when you're picking this is Intel CPUs like the 12600, 12600K, 12600T, any kind of of those variants, apart from the Fs, will have a graphics card built in. So they have an iGPU. Whereas if you pick an AMD CPU, such as this one, if it has an X, you will not get a graphics card. The only ones that have an integrated GPU are the G SKUs. So 3200G, 2200G, 5700G, all this sort of stuff. Straight away, you would have to sacrifice one of the slots here and spend extra on getting a graphics card. Whereas with Intel, you do not have to do that. You can use this slot for something else. So you could get a PCI adapter card and you could put, for example, four NVMEs in here if you want it to be a VM server or something like that. And you can populate this here and without having to have the extra power draw and much beefier PSU and obviously making use of the full 16X lanes that you've got here because all the other ones are not generally wired for 16x if you're using consumer grade cpu this is the reason why i think you should still go intel unless you obviously get something that is amd and it's absolutely dirt cheap because price to performance and the performance you get at these is magnificent compared to these